Dude, this is like five star service. Again, all the resorts are along the same road because that's the pathway of the hot spring. At the Beitou MRT station, they have a ton of these shuttle buses to take you up directly to the resort. And they also have time schedule. Most of them are available at the web on the website as well. So you can check that beforehand to time your arrival here so that you're not waiting for too long. So I had left my check-in luggage at the Taipei main station because I'll be going back in that direction tomorrow anyways and decided to pack most of my stuff that I'll need for the night um, in my backpack. But this thing is still darn heavy. I don't know if it's because of my laptop or what, but like the weight adds up, man, and it's like not fun at all. I will probably be eating dinner there, which means it'll be a more expensive dinner, but oh well. My shoulders are dying. My backpack's so heavy. <gasps> it's okay because hot spring will help me relax, right? Right? This is random, but I picked this up from the 7-Eleven to get change, actually, and this is like pretty bomb. It has, it says it's passion fruit, but if you look at the ingredients, it's actually made of guava and cane sugar, green tea, and then passion fruit and lemon. Pretty good. Would recommend. <laughs> Dude, this is like five star service. I feel very out of place, but at the same time, I'm really happy. Okay. Like, from the get go of check in, it's a very intimate service. They're very um, diligent, I guess. Like, it's like one on one. They come to you, go down the whole list of, you know, when check in and check out is, or when check out is, what the morning meals are, what, like, to ask what your preference is, because they have three different preferences. The lady at the front desk, she, like, even brought me up personally to my room and gave me a whole room tour. And there's like so much stuff here. Oh my god. Okay, let me show you what there is. You come in. Hello, beautiful decor. Oh, bam! I booked a double room, double bedroom. So we have some fruit. We have some pineapple cakes. And there's a whole mini bar service over here. Hello. Hello. Um, and apparently everything here I can use. So you best know that I'm gonna be, you know, taking it all. And <laughs> they also have these robes. Oh, hey, Taiwanese traditional attire, male and female. Clearly I'm here just by myself. There's no hidden person anywhere hiding. It's just me. I'm kind of hyper right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> Anyways, so they have this where you can wear this to um, the public baths or even to the restaurants. They even have freaking plum wine here. Crazy plum wine. Okay, and then, and then, okay, I have to show you this view as you can see the most of the hot spring resorts are like down that way this one is one of the ones that are that's, that's actually further in like we actually passed by the yangmingshan national park entrance um that's how far back we are but look at this freaking view oh my god I outdid myself with this blinking. I outdid myself. I have to call my parents after this and show them this view. Anyways, um, I have a personal hot tub here. And then this is a cold water bath. So their recommendation is to switch between the two so that you, it like promotes blood, or blood circulation. And this door here, you can close it so that 
the heat doesn't escape from the bath. In this bathroom, you have your shower, your toilet, and then I have my body lotion, shower gel, conditioner, shampoo. There's even makeup remover. After shave, I don't need that. Um, and look at this stuff. We have more stuff. Ah! More stuff. There's even. Oh, they, you said that there was a face mask. Oh, yeah, there's a face mask in here. Crazy. Okay, okay. There's one more thing that I want to show you guys. And that is not only do I get slippers, hello, slippers, they have outdoor slippers for you to wear robes of course mirrors everywhere it is it's like way above my class <laughs> but since i'm here i'm gonna milk this experience as much as i can because this is my treat to myself i had asked the front desk what they recommended for solo traveler you know like which restaurant would be better to eat at. Um, they have recommended either the French Fusion or the Taiwanese cuisine because they both have set menu options. So I will probably be eating there tonight and show that to you guys. Um, I also do want to check out their public bath. You have to be naked and it is split by gender. So I won't be filming that part for obvious reasons, but I do want to experience it and I figured since I'm staying here the night I might as well take advantage of all of those facilities just to see what it's like and then we'll utilize my personal bath later on and then enjoy the views because that view is amazing um, and then there, it comes with breakfast tomorrow morning checkout isn't until 11 um, they do offer shuttle service to go back they do also recommend that you tell them ahead of time what time you want to take the sh shuttle so that they can reserve your seat the excitement is wearing off i'm getting tired now <laughs> and um, but yeah and we switch into the traditional taiwanese clothes hello <laughs> here i'll show you in the mirror We'll get up. It's cute. Um, the size is probably like gonna be a tad small for most people, but they did say that they had different sizes if you need it. You just need to call the front desk. just got back from the public bath I just realized they did like turn down service <laughs> because the pillows are now there crazy I don't know how I feel about that but I guess it's supposed to be like a fancy thing I don't know we're gonna go eat dinner now I'm not even hungry let's go eat let's go okay I've been saying that like five times let's go
the next one is lobster tail. What am I? What kind of travel channel is this? I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely not a budget travel. I'll tell you that. Uh get to capture this as much but literally that's how all of my conversations end up going it's like real smooth in the beginning because i like fool them with my accent they think i'm like local and then they like ask this one thing and then i'm like hmm? and then they're like um what <laughs> and i'm like what story of my life man story of my life Fake it till you make it, man. It's working being with me, guys. <laughs> I just spent a little bit longer talking on the phone with my parents because they are gonna come to Taiwan and meet up with me. Anyways, so now I'm finally going to fill out my baths. And get ready for my personal hot spring experience. Woo! Look at that. So I didn't really get to talk about the public bath and what that experience was like. So the public bath is all naked, but it is segregated by gender. You just kind of have to be comfortable with that idea. What I did find really nice was the fact that there weren't that many people and it might have been the timing that I had gone. It was like later in the evening. I think I went around like 7 or 8, 7.30, I think. And um, so there were only maybe like a handful of other people there and most of them were guests of the hotel because I think they limited the access for public after a certain time frame. The outdoor hot spring is technically available to guests until 11 p.m. which is really nice but with every room having their own like hot spring bath is quite unnecessary but at the same time it's for the vibes like if you have it's kind of like half outdoors half indoors you get a little bit of nature scenery and but you it's like mostly you get the fresh air which is really nice so you get to feel that it's like a cool day and you're really relaxing in the hot spring so the facilities they had two large hot spring pools at two different temperatures i think one was 39 degrees celsius and the other one was 42 degrees celsius and they had two smaller cold bath pools that's like maybe enough for maybe one or two people and then they had a sauna and they had a steam room and my favorite part of this whole facility is that they have this like hot stone area where you can just like lay down and it's like heated from the hot spring water Similar to at the Thermal Valley, they have this like meditation area where the rocks, you sit on the rocks and you like feel the natural heat of the hot spring. So it's similar in concept. Um, and then you kind of just like after you get you soak 
for 15 minutes then you can just like lay there and relax your whole body and it was like so nice there were so many people it was like enough for at least like comfortably like five people and i swear two of the ladies like were napping and then um the whole locker room area there's like three different places for you to put your things the first small locker room area is what i had filmed like it's meant for you to leave your slippers and also your phone because after that point you cannot bring in your phone you cannot film anything you cannot use it to text nothing um the second area is the actual changing room and that's where you'll change or you'll take off all your clothes and then they also have vanities there as well with a bunch of amenities um like hair styling gel stuff like that hair dryers uh, and then there's the shower rooms right after so then you, then you are required to take a shower before you enter the hot spring pools and then after that you go into the area the hot spring water it is also white sulfur based similar to spring day but oh my god this is like so much more intense like you can actually tell that it is white sulfur the water is murky it's like milky which is the exact consistency that like it should be essentially so you know that it in like i was reading the pamphlet and it was saying how um the grandview resort is closest to the hot spring source so you get the purest form of the water here and i do not doubt it because this is so much more intense than what i had experienced at spring day and like at the public bath here it's just like you cannot see past like eight inches it everything is like opaque after that which is intense i really wanted this to be you know the ultimate hot spring resort experience and to like show that and share that with you guys i do have to put a disclaimer i did not actually pay for this experience um i paid well i did i paid for it with my travel points so i did not spend any actually dollar amounts aside from my meal um which i just charged extra and also they charged a like 90 dollar tips or something but yeah i'm just gonna enjoy this and then after this probably drink some of the wine i might check it back in with you guys then if not then just assume that i fell asleep and was really relaxed this plum wine is really good out it was a very smooth process just gave them the keys and then I was good to go because my room was already paid for and I didn't have any additional charges I decided I'm gonna walk down because I'm feeling adventurous but I'm also like low-key almost gonna regret it because my back looks really heavy um, it's really sunny too but I want to see the pathway and like what other resorts I see along the way also my parents were asking me for recommendations based off of the research that I had done um, but I'm feeling like so far this might have been the best one 
in terms of facilities and like view. I don't know about you, but I love a good view, especially from the top of the mountain. So this is one that I had looked at, the yeah, Tai Fan Dian, and like, I think it's okay. Like, it looked like more simple. It's not as like elegant or extravagant on the inside, the way the, like, the detail and design and stuff like that. So there's that. Pretty. Uh, oh, 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 I did want to do a slight recap of my stay. I was very, very happy with this, a, this experience. There are a few things I would have done differently to maybe maximize. I would have liked to have gotten here earlier. I was still able to fully enjoy all of the facilities or most of the facilities, but I think that if I had gotten here maybe around like 4 or 5 as opposed to what time did I get? I got to the station at 6 so I didn't actually really get into my room until like 7. If I had gotten here earlier in the day, I think check-in starts at 3. I would have been a little bit more relaxed and wandering the facilities um, and like really getting to take a look around and stuff and to like fully enjoy the experiences. Oh hey, here's the Spring City Resort. It's like right here. That's one thing that I would have done a little differently is I would have gone here earlier. Second thing is, I don't know if I would eat here for dinner. The food is good, don't get me wrong, but it is more expensive. It's like some, it was, $80 for the set meal and while it was a lot of food and it's like really good ingredients very fresh very well made I think they have a really good kitchen honestly the Chinese restaurant at least I didn't try the other restaurants which is my third regret but the second regret is I don't know if I would have eaten dinner there to begin with I think I would have been absolutely content if I had brought a pack of instant noodles and eaten that for my dinner because the stay does come with um, breakfast and as you saw breakfast was intense it was a very intense meal that's my second regret third regret is I wish I had tried other cuisines because they have that French restaurant and I wish I could have tried that instead of having um, traditional Taiwanese food for both meals. And then, I think that's about it. I mean, the other, other thing is like, I think you could definitely get more out of the experience with someone else. You also can probably snag more of the goodies if you had someone else with you. Ooh, that's my fourth one. Leaving room in my luggage for goodies slash not actually bringing any unnecessary toiletries because they provided legit everything like I don't know if I showed it properly last night but like they had a facial cleanser for men and women I think it's basically based off of scent they had essence toner they had moisturizer and then they also had a face mask they had everything like you legit did not need to bring anything they had like the toothbrush toothpaste comb shampoo conditioner shower gel lotion everything i took as much as i could and i have no regrets but yeah i probably could have saved on my space and weight on my backpack if i didn't bring my own toiletries and just use what they had so that's something that i think i forgot with hotel stays because i'm so used to staying at hostels and having to fend for myself is the fact that hotels provide you with basic amenities like and toiletries like toothbrush and a toothpaste so i technically don't really need to pack as much as i do for these like overnight stays that i'm doing um because i'll be staying at hotels for most of them and then so that's something that i have learned for later on in this trip when i go to Alishan, for example, I'll be staying two nights there, but at a hotel, 
because most of my other places I'll be staying at hostels but that place I'll be staying at a hotel so I'm like and that was one of the trips I had planned to just like ditch my luggage in a locker somewhere and then bring only my backpack and so now I know I don't need to pack as much as I do and I will still be fine I hope you had fun with me experiencing this five-star hotel life and <laughs> a very different type of travel lifestyle that I am used to in general and used to showcasing so if you're ever in Taiwan in Taipei make sure you check out the hot springs in Beitou make sure you treat yourself treat your body treat your mind well and I hope you safe and happy travels I'll see you guys later